All right. As as a Pokemon fan, it always kind of bugs me to see people use like, you know, it's jokes, but people do stuff like X use Taunt. It's super effective. It's like, but 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 Taunt is a status move. It it, it can't be super effective. It just bugs. It just bugs me. If you've seen me make like 20 tweet long threads about, you know, like some stupid mechanic in Pokemon, you're probably not surprised that that bugs me. Oh, it ends. Pokemon is like really impressively um, complex, by the way. It's really cool. It's an extreme example of something that's like really accessible, yet also really deep if you want to be, you know, competitive about it. It's. There's really not too much like it, especially not in the RPG space. <laughs> yeah, fun thing in this stage, if you taunt, they'll throw stuff at you. Cause they don't. It's cause they don't like you. Uh, that that should have hurt me. Yeah, I was in a bad position for that one. I don't know why it didn't hurt me though. <laughs> if you'll notice, she's actually using. <laughs> the audience as weaponry, which is a little bit rude in my opinion. Uh, I'm not sure if this is allowed in the WWE. Um, I'm not sure if they've changed the policy on that. Oops, walked right into a bullet. That happens sometimes. Oop, no, not the eggs, not the eggs. Aw. Ah, yeah, running out of time slow can be real bad. The heroes are only as strong as the villains, but it's good we're being challenged. See, it's still encouraging, even when it's not like, even when it's the hard mode stuff, it's still not like, ha oh, ha, you suck. Wow, you lose. That was like, <laughs> freaking for fucking Bokazuka Wars of all games to have the wow, you lose game over thing. Like that game is insanely difficult and it's all random. It is like, I mean, there's some skill elements to that game. But you can literally die at any time in any battle, and it's completely random. Like, it's... And, like, even in the final bot fight, even if you have, like, max level, you can still die completely randomly in a single hit. It's... Wow. And it's getting a freaking um... It's getting a sequel, which is so weird. Oops, 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 oops. Wrong color, wrong color. Aw, oh, frick, come on. Also, if a laser is purple, you can... You can hit it and cancel it out slightly, but... As long as you're still casting the laser, it still... Will keep going, so... Reflecting lasers basically doesn't work. So you really just want to dodge the lasers. Also, if I'm making this look a little too easy, I have beaten the first game and this game. I beat this game twice. Ow. Or, or was it three times? So, I mean... This is not, you know, a complete newbie destroying the game first try. Um, not that I haven't died, either. But, uh... Her mechanics are a little bit weird with that laser. Ground don't like you no more. Also, this is a nice bit of game design. Oh no, she's invincible. Um, there's a lot of games that I've played that would never, ever, in a million years, tell you what you need to actually do to hurt her now. So you can fall through a laser like that, but you can't just like stand up to it. Like it cancels it for a few seconds. See so, yeah. ya. There's a thing I can do now, but I'm just going to wait for the game to tell me. Just because I want to show off some pretty good game design. Click the left thumbstick to taunt. See, a lot of games are like, oh no, my immersions! You can't tell the player what to do when there's no obvious thing to do! That's like, well, I mean, not unless you want like the player to like not die and not hate you. So yeah, the hint 
was that, you know, you see her taunts get less and less effective. Uh, early on, if you taunted, they would target you. So you've basically switched places in terms of audience favorites. So now you can have them throw stuff at her. Um, but it's really nice that the game suggests, hey, use taunt. Because, I mean, you might not think to use taunt. Because, I mean, you might have literally never used taunt before. That's another thing. Uh, unless you're into score, um, it does teach you once. But that was a long time ago. Anyway, I really like just-in-time tutorials like that for, like, if you figured out what to do, it doesn't do anything. It's not modal. It doesn't, like, stop the action. It's just, if you spend about a minute attacking her fruitlessly, it'll be like, hey, here's a little hint. Oh, frick. Nah, we'll get it this time. <laughs> so I really like the, the... Just be positive with your freaking video games. Be... Think about the player, Parker. See, your player might have difficulties, like a cat sitting on his desk when he's trying to play a video game. That's, I'm hinting, I'm hinting. Can you see my hints? I'm hinting. Parker, please get down. You sit over there, there you go. So yeah, you wanna, Ugh. okay, at least sit down. Thank you. Yeah, you want to do your taunt uh, whenever she's doing the laser. She stays lo still for a long time with the laser. Um, Uh-oh. As you can see, I wasted my opportunity there. There's some recharge time on the taunt. I mean, not so much on the taunt, but on the audience uh, throwing crap. Oh, right. I forgot to taunt. Ah. Yeah, she could be down to like one fourth health now if I were playing this properly. There we go. There we go. Also, I really like the addition of the score system, and like, it, it's a sensible score system. It's not just like garbage. Like, in SNES games, the score was just like there, and like, it didn't matter, and. Like, every game had it, but no game, like, used it, and it's like, didn't make any sense. Um, in this game, score really feels like, um, it really feels like a good reason to play again. I especially, I've said this many times, but I'll keep saying it, uh, the, the letter scores and, like, medals and stuff, it really does encourage me to actually use the score system. Because, if you just give me a number, I don't know what a good number is. Is a million a good score? Sometimes that's an impossibly good score. Sometimes that's, like, horrible. Um, and I just don't know. And I'm not going to get to the top of the leaderboards. So why not just give me, like, hey, that's that's an S rank. That's that's pretty freaking good. Also, the, there's physics on the roses, which I like. Also, everyone just happened to have purple roses with them. What a thoughtful audience. Breaking news! Through raw style and fighting spirit, our hero won the respect of a hostile crowd. Being used as projectiles may have contributed to the change of heart. Regardless, the enemy leader is defeated! The world is safe once again! We can all return to our daily lives and begin celebrations, none more deserving than our hero herself. I guess that's the conclusion of our special broadcast. Now, back to the weather. Oh, speaking of the weather, it's gonna freaking freezing rain here tonight. I don't even know if I'm gonna be like, able to get to work tomorrow. Up. Oh. Not the TV! How dare you! Hey, what gives? Do you have to ruin the endings of all of my games? You tell him. You tell him, girl. Pa, we have unfinished business. I demand a resolution to our battle. Do we have to do it right now? Can we just play video games or something? Exactly! See, Ren, Ren gets it so hard. Nonsense! We must face com in combat, and I prevail. You will recognize me as your equal, and a hero! Ugh, fine, and if I win, you have to stop being an idiot and play video games with me. That's that's the kind of deal that you make that shows you're serious. I accept your terms! Man, do you know how hard it is to get a good CRT these, DV these, these days? Freaking jackass. Here's his here's his uh, mantis mech from the first game. Oh. Off. 
I'm really bad at timing that without the time slow. No. Oh. No, not this. Ah. Yeah, it's one of those ones you just have to think ahead a little bit. See, that does a lot of damage. Bye bye. <laughs> ah. How many vehicles do you even get? I don't even get any. This is. I'm talking to my union about this, my friend. I get zero vehicles. He gets like 18,000. Uh, uh, you could at least give me, you know, one. Give me the Ren car. Like, come on. I love the fireworks for you in the background. Oh, frick. Yep. Yeah. Okay. We're good. about that one. Yeah, that one's not hard. You just need to jump over it. I just forget it's coming. Also, have you noticed how the bullet colors match our hair colors? I'm sure that doesn't matter. I'm sure there's nothing interesting about that. Oh yeah, that's another attack that, uh, well, I think most attacks change depending on difficulty, but there's only three balls in that attack on easy modo. Ah. Ah, frick. It'll almost be a shame blowing this thing up. Didn't he just fix it? I really like when games have, like, specific, like, very specific dialogue that, like, not even everybody's gonna see. So it's like... That's really cool to see. The unfortunate thing about when you reflect missiles is they will, in fact, impact against other missiles and stuff. And then you don't get the free damage. Well, not free damage. But... Get that weak mess out of here. Aw, oh, don't bomb the bridge. Don't bomb the... Aw. Oh. Told you, bro. It's okay, though, because he has a freaking awesome spider mech. Well, vaguely spider-ish mech. It's only got two legs, but whatever. Some people can't afford eight legs, you know? That's none of your business, my friends. Whoa. Oh, frick. Yeah. Oops. I really love the big reflection moments. Those are very... Those feel very satisfying. And I think a very important part of boss fights is feeling satisfying. A lot of NES platformer boss fights, they're incredibly hard, but beating them doesn't feel satisfying. Like, you just jump on their head and eventually they stop moving, and there's no drama to it, there's no tension. They're really hard, but beyond that, there's no satisfaction to it. There's no really nice explosion. There's no, you know, moment where you make him fall through the floor. You know, cut the head off. It's just... It feels empty, and that's why I don't really like a lot of that era's harder bosses. Like, dropping Bowser into lava is alright. Though I feel bad about hurting Bowser so much. Bowser's, a, Bowser's an alright dude! I, why can't I just play as Bowser instead? Like, I mean... Honestly... I think, I think Peach is kind of selling herself short with with Mario. I mean, I mean, have you seen how well Bowser? You know, he he used the parental controls for his kids, and he's respectful of of you know not blocking their playtime. He's he's an all right man, my friends. I don't think Mario would do that. I don't think Mario cares about his kids. He doesn't have kids. 
He's not a family man. Anyway, that's why Bowser is way better than Mario. Please read my fanfiction on fanfiction.net. I mean, can you imagine how cool it would be to have Bowser as a dad? Like, he's got freaking... I mean, the dude can afford massive, like, lava reservoirs for no particular reason. Like, can you imagine how awesome, like, what... Imagine having, like, a freaking lava tree fort. Like, my parents never... I didn't even get a normal tree fort. Imagine a lava tree fort. The tree would probably burn, and you would probably die, but it would be so cool! Oh, thanks, Ganondorf. Wait, did I take damage and reflect that? He looks very Super Saiyan in this fight, by the way. So I'm sure a lot of the things like the Kirby reference and the... Or the Kirby feeling boss and stuff, it's probably... You know, not just coincidence. I don't... I don't... I like when when games have like cameos and stuff like that. Some people feel it's like ripping off. I don't really think that's the case unless it feels like... Ow. If there's no sense of like admiration, like this game feels like a game that loves games. Like, I mean, the, the main menu is her playing like an SNES. I mean, it's... I think it's pretty obvious that the developer likes games. Um... When a game just feels like a heartless copy, that's when, uh, That's when I think stuff like that is bad. Like, you know, he's not just a Ganondorf clone. He just has an attack that's, you know, very Ganondorf-y. But I guess in a way that predates Ganondorf, because there was, um... Ah, uh, whoa! <laughs> it wouldn't be a real victory without some challenge anyway. There you go. Because didn't, uh, Ganon did that in, uh, Link to the Past. Oh, wait, no, Aghanim does it. Do we do it with Ganon, too? It's been a while since I played Link to the Past. Yeah. Ocarina of Time is the most famous instance of it. Ow. I'm not even sure if you can reflect that kick, or if it always does the color that you can't reflect. If only there were a way to reflect the other color. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh, there we go. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Never mind, never mind. But yeah, some attacks are 50% uh, yellow, 50% purple. Um, some attacks are guaranteed to be dodgeable. Oh, fr I mean, reflectable. I always forget that is even a thing. I don't know how. I, that's probably the, the attack I take the most damage to in this entire fight. Yeah, I, I, I never properly block it. What you need to do is move over to the side and then jump up. Because it goes straight down and then it blows up towards either side along the ground. Bye-bye. Get wrecked. Game clear! I always like when they have a little surprise, like, instead of level clear, game clear. Just a little... Just some careful design. Wahoo! We did it! We make one heck of a team, huh? I'm really glad you came back. I couldn't have done it without you. Aw, thanks, Ren. And besides, things are just more fun when you're around. You know, I always wanted a hero, because they're stylish and have so many fans. But maybe what's even better than fans is friends. Aww. Thank you for everything. It's great knowing that, that there's someone I can have so much fun with. Come back and play with me anytime, okay? I'll always be here. And don't worry about me. I think I found a new friend to play with when you're gone. This is really cute. Oh wait, I think it's credits first. We'll let the credits roll, I guess. I guess they got community service for their evil deeds.
I like that bulby hand. But I guess that's Mr. Sunflower Man. God, <laughs> get wrecked! <laughs> the clawed girl from They Bleed Pixels appears as a courtesy of Spooky Squid Games. Yeah, They Bleed Pixels is a really hard platformer um, that I played a while ago. It's sort of a, it's sort of one of those precision. Well, yeah, I guess it's a precision platformer. Um, I enjoyed it, but it's one of those games that I like never finish. I like when games have like credit rolls and like name all of the the bosses and stuff. Barfin gets frequency bots. Oh, and you gotta have the subtitle. You gotta have the subtitle for the uh, for the bo the sub bosses and stuff. Chef spammer. So here's the robots of all of the earlier, the first game's bosses. <laughs> Robo Bunny's freaking super creepy. This guy, hate that guy. And <laughs> score mark too. Was the spider core in the first game? I forget. I don't know why. Like these aren't final boss ones, but they get stats for some reason, I guess. Way of darkness. There's Rex Rocket from 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 Rex Rocket. Human question mark. I think his species is Lego, but... See, that guy totally looks like a Kirby boss. <laughs> Rin and the rival. He still doesn't have a name. Two games later, and the credits does not have a name. Rest in peace. Additional thanks to everyone who supported me through the making of this game and everyone enjoyed and shared the original. You have made this game possible. Aww. Thanks for playing. Alright, we're back to the main menu. Unlock new characters. Yeah, you get one character for each difficulty mode you clear and one weapon. I think, and you, you get two for your meeting the first time. You also get some abilities. I'm not sure what they I haven't messed with the abilities. You also get mutators, which are basically cheats. And they disable your progress and stuff. But this, this is the, this is a really neat, um, when you first play the game, um, like you might have saw at the very start, Rin's just playing the game on her own. And her reactions make some more sense now that blue haired dude's there. Cause they're playing video games. Anyway, I'll show off some of the extra stuff in another video for now. That is the main story of Bleed 2. Hello, Mr. Mouse.